The first chapter of the book, the introduction, concentrates on three lines of inquiry. The first line of inquiry has to do with this magical thinking, uh, the Sayasat practices and beliefs. These are kind of magical beliefs, thought to be alternative to Buddhism, but when you look at some many Buddhist rituals, many Buddhist practices, you find little elements of Sayasat, so it's not the case that Sayasat is something completely separate. Police work is a risky business. Uh, it's possible that you can be seriously injured or even die in a police operation. It, it was, it was, there was a, definitely a topic here about, about risk that I wanted to talk about and what precautions and what steps the policeman took to minimize this risk. To carry out his duties, he shared community beliefs in special powers, supernatural powers. That much is apparent from the stories he told. In his pursuit of outlaws and criminals, he acquired enemies. And for his own protection, he armed himself physically, mentally, and magically. His reputation, performed as much as earned, made him a person to be emulated or bonebap, in the words of one local scholar I interviewed. The second section of the introduction covers history in the Mid-South. Uh, this part of the uh, country is, is very ancient. Some of the earliest uh, archaeological uh, remains of uh, Buddhist and Brahmanic uh, deities and temples uh, have been discovered in this part of the country. And it's a very uh, distinctive part of the country because it was the most capital intensive uh, during the colonial period. Gramsci had defined political society as those parts of the state, the police and military, that lawfully exercise a monopoly over weaponry and the use of force. He called political society the armor of coercion that affords protection for the people. Defense of the land, be it the realm, the nation state, the district, or the village, requires not only diplomacy, but also coercion and the occasional use of lethal force. Military and police together, as the armor of coercion, is germane in the Thai case, as senior officers in the military and police have often changed places, moving across from one service to the other as circumstance required. He himself was the armor of coercion of the uh, modern state. Thank you.